The time is now 3.43 on a Monday morning. I just dropped off a customer. I've been busy tonight. Busy enough anyway. I would get maybe a 10 minute break here, 10 minute break there. A few minutes here and there. I watched a few videos. But I would have liked to watch more videos and I would have liked to sleep more. Uh, like I said, I've been busy. I got uh, about 340 on right now. And I still have two hours left to go. Uh, before I got to park it for Mr. Punctual. Yeah, it's uh, it's been busy. I haven't had a chance to sleep. I think I mentioned that already. It's... Uh, still short of drivers still need more oh what else is there to talk about uh, didn't have any any really memorable eventful things happen tonight probably the most memorable eventful thing was uh, this run to the airport yeah I'm just tired and worn out need a vacation four more nights to go this week It is now 5.30 in the morning on a Tuesday and I've got, just dropped somebody off and there's the ambulance. Okay, here's the story. Um, I was sent to a hotel to pick up this lady whose husband had a heart attack when they were on a cruise ship and the cruise ship docked in Victoria and they got kicked off and he was sent to the cardiac unit at the uh, Jubilee Hospital. And so this lady was staying at the hotel and now they're going back home. He's, her husband is on a stretcher and was on that ambulance and, um, and she was in the cab and I brought her to the airport to meet up with her husband and fly back home. Yeah. I got $350 on. I'm doing all right. It was a kind of night where I had uh, a lot of short trips, but I didn't have to drive very far to go get most of them, which was nice, very nice. And I had uh, I had quite a few trips. I did 22 trips tonight, and uh, had some long breaks in between, which was good. I could go to sleep. I watched uh, quite a bit of video and I did some sleeping, so I'd say it was a successful, successful night. And I also made some money, so uh, good. Now I'm probably going to be a little bit late for my chiropractor because first I got to wash the car, then I got to get into town, then I got to um, make a bank deposit, and then I got to. Dip detail the interior and I got to wash the car uh, I got to uh, fuel the car but I won't have anyone punctual waiting uh, chomping at the bit uh, waiting for me which is good because it's the owner who's driving it today and with him it's never a rush he, he often takes until 8 or after 8 to come to work. So that's that's good. I'm not going to be rushed. And if I'm a little late for the chiropractor, it's not a big deal. I'm going to get strapped on a table and have my lower back decompressed and then have my neck decompressed. If I'm a little late for that, so what? They know I'm coming.
Okay, well, three more nights to go this week. It's now 5.23 in the morning. I am exhausted. It's like I never had a minute to myself all night. It was always rush and get the next one, and rush and get the next one, and rush and get the next one. And most of them were not longer trips. They were mostly shorter trips, and I did 25 of them. And it was always rush and get the next one, and it was always far away. Well, there was maybe one or two that was nearby to where I was when I got the trip, but most of the time it was far away. And it was at a point where I was screaming and yelling and cursing every time I'd get a call because it was just too much. I needed a break. I needed a break so bad. And then when I did get a few minutes to myself, I fell right asleep immediately. So let's see if the bank machines work today. Because yesterday and the day before, they were not functional. They were not taking deposits, which is wrong. And I'm going to go now to the bank machine and try and deposit some money. I went there yesterday to deposit money, but I was, I was kind of late. not functional. The morning before that, I went after I parked the cab, I went with my own car to another bank machine to uh, make a deposit. So hopefully they fix the thing now because I still have the money from yesterday uh, on me. Fortunately it wasn't very much because most of my transactions were interact. Interact and company charges. Wow, I'm tired. This night took a lot out of me. You know, sometimes it goes so smooth and sometimes it goes so rough. And it was like I was the only one out here. It's like nobody else was taking, doing calls. Rush, rush, rush. And calls were getting old and uh, yeah. did not have a good night I did not it was profitable yes but it was not enjoyable at all uh. well it's 5.33 in the morning on a Thursday morning. So this was my Wednesday night. There were times when this Wednesday night was busy and stupid. There were times when it was quiet. And the times when it was quiet were closer to the morning end of the thing. The times when it was busy was, well, at the beginning and in the middle. was uh, I got just over 300 on which is fine it's fine and most of the trips were well there were a couple of longer ones but most of them were under under ten dollars and I'm talking about you know eight or nine dollars kind of thing that's what I mean by under 10 because the, the price of uh, taking a cab has gone up so much that uh, you don't get $5 to death anymore. It's a $5 trip isn't very, very long anymore. It doesn't take you very far. And so this morning I'm...
I'm just, well, I, I've been asleep for some of it. The last fair I was quite awake, but the fair before that I was, a couple times I was starting to gap out at the wheel. Because I cannot wake up on a dime. I, I can't. It takes me a little while to wake up usually. And if I'm awakened by this thing, it wakes me up, and then of course I want to doze off again when I'm on my way to the customer or when I have the customer in the car. But yeah, I guess I'm going to head towards the car wash, even though I think it's going to rain. It's really gray and overcast this morning. According to the dashboard, the temperature outside is 13 degrees. Which, for, for mid-June, is kind of cold, even if it is only 5.30 in the morning. Oh, here's a good one. Earlier on, I was sent to a shopping mall, and there were these two girls spoke Spanish and they wanted to have two they had two uh, two big uh, travel luggage you know suitcases so I put those in the car and they said well can we bring our fish too like they they each had a little aquarium with a goldfish in it and I said well yeah, sure why not she said one of them said that the last taxi driver kicked them out and said that called them all kinds of names and things for wanting to bring a couple of goldfish in their own little aquariums in the car and he was apparently swearing and yelling and cursing at them and I go what for it's a goldfish the only thing I'd be worried about is uh, you know going around a corner fast or hitting the brakes hard spilling the contents of the little aquarium all over the place and killing the fish but that didn't happen i said you can keep them on the floor that's probably the safest place for them but they both chose to keep the aquariums in their laps all the way there and they were most appreciative had a couple of customers claim that I did a great job in getting them there the quickest that they've ever seen <laughs> yeah 30 years of experience will do that to you and of course it adds up in tips Time is now 6.05 in the morning. I'm at the ferry terminal. I just dropped off here. It was one of those where I waited for over half an hour at the end of my shift and I was just falling asleep and then I was awakened by a call. It was to a motel and the guy got in and said, take me to the ferries. So I did. And now my shift has ended and I just dropped off at the ferries. I might as well log out here. Oh, come on. Log out. All right, I am free. All I have to do is get into town, 
fuel up, add up all the interox officially, and the one company charge that I have, and uh, that's it. I have four hundred and forty dollars on, and over 300 of that is Interac and company charge. So that means that next week or on Monday I will get a check for $700 I think. Or is it 8 I think it's $800 because I had like 500 before and another 3 yeah $800 check for my overs on the lease for the car. Nice. It's nice when you can consistently earn over $1,000 a week. It's nice. I need a vacation. I just found out that the uh, they are lifting the mandate for vaccine that really soon now we will be able to travel within Canada without having a vaccine uh, to board a plane or a train. So that's good. It's about time. go visit my family in Montreal for a couple weeks. I would like to do that. And now my weekend begins. Hope yours is better than mine.